Hello, it's time for another stream DIY video and brace yourself, it's another audio one. Previously, I uploaded a OBS tutorial on how to separate your audio, but it was super complicated and, and, and convoluted. But today, we're going to show you the easiest current method to separate your audio in OBS using only an OBS plugin, completely for free, no third-party software or other hardware needed. This is actually fantastic for anyone who wants to have, you know, full audio control and um, being able to manipulate uh, volumes on the fly of, of various different audio sources. Um, you know, you can make it so uh, viewers can hear something that you can't, so if you want to have a bit of background music on your stream, but you don't want to hear it, but you want your viewers to hear it, or you can have it that you can hear something that your viewers can't. So say if you want to have Discord voice chat, but only hear it yourself, but not allow your viewers to hear it, you can also do that. And you can do all, you know, you can manipulate all these different audio channels using your stream deck as well, um, or even add filters to individual audio inputs. So say... You could add sidechain ducking so that when you speak into your microphone, it automatically turns down the volume of your Discord or your music or your gameplay. And if you want to know how to do that as well, it'll be um, linked at the top right hand side. Is that the right hand side? No, nope, top right hand side of the video. Um, or you, or I'll put a link in the description as well. Now. To get started, you need to head over to the OBS Project website and download the Win Capture Audio plugin for OBS. The link is in the description below. And yes, this will not work with Streamlabs. If, if you're still on Streamlabs and you're kind of looking to do these kind of things and you know, you're looking at these tutorials, just, just, well, um, just install OBS Studio. Scroll down and install the Win Capture executable and then go through the installation. If OBS was open during the installation, then you will need to restart OBS. If you want multiple scenes to all have the same audio, then it could be an idea to create a new nested scene for your audio sources rather than adding them individually to every scene. So here we'll create a scene called nested audio. It's important to remember as well that both you and your viewers won't hear any audio for a source if it's not on that scene. For example, if we're on a Be Right Back screen, then we don't want any of our game audio or our Discord voice chat audio to come through. So that means we won't have the Discord audio or the gameplay audio in that scene. Make sure whatever you want to capture is currently running and playing audio, ideally. Now, if you right-click in Sources, you'll notice there's now Application Audio Output Capture. Click on that to add an audio capture. If you're watching this tutorial on the PC that you're working on, we suggest adding the browser source now that you're watching this video on so you can still hear it or maybe watch this tutorial on a, on a different device. Give the source a name. So we'll call this browser. Click OK. Click on the session drop-down box and select the browser that's currently playing audio. Then click Add Executable and OK. So as you can see in the audio mixer, browser has been added and it should be displaying the audio is coming through on that channel. Right click in the OBS audio mixer and then you want to click on advanced audio properties. Find the bit that says audio monitoring and then you want to change this to monitor and output. If you have multiple scenes that need the same audio, then instead of copying and pasting it into every scene, just set up a nested scene like we have here. In whichever other scene that needs the audio from the nested scene, then just go to that scene, right click on sources, click on add, select the scene, then select the nested audio scene and then press OK. Now you'll be able to see all of the channels in the audio mixer coming through from that nested scene. I feel like I've said the word scene too much now. <laughs> Now, while going through these steps, there may be an echo going on. Um, I mean, there may not be, but um, basically we're doing it this way so that you can continue to watch this tutorial on the PC that you're working on, hopefully. 
Um, but the following steps will make it so um, you hear exactly what your viewers hear. So in OBS, go to settings, then audio. Make sure your monitoring device is set to your headphones. Disable both desktop channels and make sure the correct microphone input is selected. If your monitoring device or headphones that you've selected uh, as a monitoring device in OBS are the same as your PC's default or desktop output device, you will need to switch your PC's default device to something else uh, that's not in use when you're streaming or, or OBS is open, as it will probably cause an, an echo for, for you or your viewers. Just click on the desktop audio icon in your taskbar and change it to something else. I'm going to select my monitor speakers. But if your OBS monitoring device and your PC default device are not the same, you can just mute your PC's desktop audio by clicking on the speaker icon here when OBS is open. This means that you and your viewers won't hear any audio unless OBS is open and whatever's currently playing audio is added as an audio output capture uh, on that current scene. Obviously, if you don't have OBS open or you're not streaming, you can just switch your PC default device back to what it normally is, or you can just unmute it. But me personally, I have OBS open on startup, uh, so OBS is, is always open. Now you just need to repeat the earlier steps for all of your audio devices, so your music, Discord as well. And if you're on a one PC setup, then each game. So we'll quickly add our music player now. So you want to right click in sources, click on add, and then audio output capture. Title it music, and then click OK. And then find the music player under session, then click add executable, and then OK. So once you've added all of your audio sources, you won't be able to hear anything until you right click in the OBS audio mixer and then go to advanced audio properties and then again change everything to monitor and output. Monitor and output essentially just means that you can monitor the sounds coming through your headset so you'll be able to hear it but also all of your viewers and everyone on your stream can hear it as well in the output. If you set it to monitor only, then that means that only you can hear it through whichever device you use to monitor all of your audio on OBS. So this is pretty good in situations where you might want to listen to music, but you don't want your stream to hear it. Or you might be in a voice chat in Discord and, and you want to hear the comms, but you don't want anyone else in the chat to hear. So it's good for them situations. Remember, if a scene doesn't have audio uh, an audio device added or a nested scene containing that audio, you and your viewers do not hear it. After setting all this up, you now have full control over each piece of audio. If you use a stream deck, you can even mute individual channels or change the volume at the press of a button using the OBS tools plugin on your stream deck. Just a tip with the stream deck, um, when adding soundboard sounds or audio uh, from the Stream Deck, leave the output as default and add the Stream Deck as an application audio output capture in your scenes too. It may not pick up the Stream Deck in the session drop-down box until you play some audio from it. Um, so if that's the case, just play some audio and then try and, and re-add it again. This is the same with Discord, by the way. It probably won't identify um, Discord as an executable unless it's playing audio. So what you can actually do is in Discord, uh, click on the little gear at the bottom left hand side, which is your user settings. Um, go to voice and video and then click on let's check. And what that will do, it, was, it will play your mic audio back to you. So it means that Discord will be playing sound. So then you, while, while, while that's selected, you can go back into OBS and try and re-add um, Discord as a, a sound capture device. And there you have it. We really hope that this video has been super helpful. Both me and Beadley know how stressful and like, it's like a minefield to navigate audio sometimes. So yeah, we hope we've made it as straightforward as possible. As always, please do hit the like and if not already, um, do subscribe and, and even put a comment um, down below. 
It really does help with the reach of these videos and helps secure the future of this channel. Thanks again and see you next time. Bye-bye.